Hello everyone! In this video, we will illustrate why autoimmune diseases occur. Let's start by this story of clonal deletion that occurs in utero. Once upon a time, the bone marrow synthesized T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, baby lymphocytes, and then took them in a journey through all the body. Every lymphocyte has a specific receptor on its surface that will identify only one antigen. This antigen might be bacterial antigen, viral or fungal antigen. And through the journey, the cell that recognizes self-antigen, like lung, kidney or pancreas antigens, will be killed. And this clone will be deleted forever. And this is called clonal deletion that protects our bodies from being attacked by the immune cells. So, our immune system has O2 tolerance, tolerance to all self antigens, and this because clonal deletion that occurred in utero, and if there is a lymphocyte that recognizes self antigen and escaped this process, it will not find any help from other immune factors. Tolerance can be induced by immunosuppressants and by introducing very high or very low doses of an antigen. Now, what causes autoimmune diseases? Some organs, normally sequestrated organs like eye and the testes, if trauma occurs to them, their antigens will be present to the immune system for the first time. And so they will be considered by the immune system as foreign and attacked. Some drugs like alpha-methyl dopa attach to cells like red blood cells and in this case antibodies will destruct these cells. Cross-reactivity between similar antigens, an example is rheumatic fever that follows streptococcal infection and polyclonal activation also can result in autoimmune diseases. Many thanks for watching us. Hope that you enjoyed immunity with us. Goodbye.